this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. It's the, basically what it is, it's a variant of the Tummel Monkey. Uh, the, only, the variant being, the only thing is that what I've done is I've used, instead of an orange goat, uh, basically away, I've used a sunburst. Still get the orange in, in there to warm it up, as well as the yellow, yellow fox at the back. Uh, and this is a, a cone head version. There's lots of versions, but this is one I've tied and it does well. So, uh, a wee bit more complicated than the standard sort of salmon fly, but overall it's quite easy to tie. Now, what I'm using to tie the Tummel Monkey with, uh, with is the tubing anyway. This is the Sean Stanton uh, outer and inner tubing. This is a fluorescent orange and a red inner tubing which is quite dark. Basically suits the head of the, the fly because I'm going to be putting a, a red cone head in, in the front so that will finish the fly off so it will be pushed up. But overall the fly is reasonably easy. Uh, the Tummel, Tummel Monkey is a, it's a good pattern, it's, it's quite a lot of fish and it's a, a request. Now there's a, the version I'm going to be tying is basically that it's got a bit more sunburst in it rather than just pure yellow. So it's really bright. Uh, material wise it's just normal type materials, you've got the angel hair. Uh, this is a dubbing from Loop which I've had for a while, it's really good stuff. Uh, colours, the goat. Um, so see, there's a variant, so I'm going to be using the sunburst coloured. It goes quite orange at the tip, uh, goat in the top, but there's still the hot orange. Uh, what do you call it? Fox, just to bring it back a wee bit, so it's close to it. But as a variant of the Tummel Monkey, it's a good pattern. Thread I'm going to be using to tie it is the Unithread AO and Fire Orange. Now, to prepare the, the tubing, just to show you, um, I've obviously got it on. This is a tube fly adapter. This is the outer tubing. This is a tube fly cutter, which is basically uh, it's not made. I wasn't originally done for uh, making tubes for fly tying, but it's a very useful item to have to cut the tubing. So you cut it to the length you want. The body length in this case is I'm doing is about an inch. You get a last pair of scissors and you cut it into a point, and then you get your inner tubing. Here lighter, and what I do is simply just warm up the end just so it curls a wee bit, just give it a second to cool. I blow it to speed that up, and then what you do is you push this in. So basically, you're pushing it in to around about, you can actually put a, your, your hook, your whatever hook you're using, up in the back. It will push down, don't make it too big. So there it's, you can see where it is there. So that's where the body is going to start to come up. Uh, you can make this a wee bit wider as I say, or you can put a sleeve over the top. But this fluorescent orange lifts the colour of the fly. And then what I do is I just trim it again to the length. And there we are, that's your tube ready. Just a bit, so obviously put onto the needle. And uh, what I do is actually pull it, tighten it up onto the back of the, the tube so it doesn't move. I mean, there's lots of ways to make tubes. This is a simple way. It's just a, it's a light wire, it's a light weight. You could use a tungsten, there's all different types. This is a another tungsten uh, tube that you can use. You can tie that in, but you need a long wing on the tungsten to try and balance it a wee bit. There's other th tubes, as I say, you can use. But anyway, being tapered makes it easier for you to actually work your way up onto the tube, into the back. The body is very simple, it's just a dub body. Just so run this up. You see, I'm going to use the, this is the, the loop, which is a copper yellow, that's uh, a nice colour. Uh, there's one there, if you can see it, oh, there we are. So basically, it's just lightly to take it out. I just got the corner off the back, it's easy to do. And we roughly dub it on and then slide it up. And what I like to do is just stretch it out and dub, tightening it up when I need to and making it very straggle-like, hairy. I mean, even after all, you could have a run your thread through it or you could bring a rub up through if you want or even a hackle. 
There's no hackle in this. The body can be up to yourself, it could be tinsel. Good ones, Opal Mirage. There's lots of bodies you could add to this fly and it'll still work. Just a tiny bit more till we get to this tapered part of the, the tube. So I'm going to tie in the wing and the hackle. I'm actually going to tie the underwing on first. A wee bit of flash. Now I'm using the angel here to get a wee bit of flash. So just a few strands out. Don't want these too long because they get the, the angel here gets a bit tangly like. So I'm just to the back of the fly. This is just to add a bit of flash to the wing and I can mix it in. So just lightly come from the top and cut it at an angle. Just a, a taper. Keep this. You can always add that into the wing again. Now, this is the Arctic Fox which have died the sunburst. So, take it, don't put too much on. So, we pull it out, we're happy with the amount we want. We can then cut it away from the skin. We can then, you can use a, a brush or a comb. Just brush these fibres out. But what I do is, I'm going to fold it, I'm going to tie it forward and pull it back. So. This is going to be part of the underwing and lift it, so I'm going to taper it slightly to take away that cut end of these straight cut. So that then becomes part of the underwing. So to show you what I'm doing is just tie it on, so it's about the length of the body, say. Tie this on the top, three or four turns, just to see how it's sitting. Spread the fibre, you can roll it so it opens the fibre out and gives it a nicer, nicer wing. And two or three more, and then we can pull this back, but don't tie over the top, just get the thread turned right up close to it. And then, with a small brush, what I usually do is just brush this into the flash. Now we've got that remains of the flash we had earlier, so we can put that on the top as well. This is my angel here. That's fine. And we can brush it all together. That helps lift the wing up and away from the dressing. Now, does it, you can put the hackle on now or after. Well, I'm going to put the hackle on after. This is part of the wing as well. This is a hot orange Arctic Fox, a nice long one that's slightly longer, obviously. So we're tapering out, then to go on top. So we get the length we want. Again, we're going to do the same in a way. Open out the fibre and then you brush out the under fur the rubbish at the bottom. This time I'm just going to lay it on the top. Just open the fibre out so we get a nice taper. Pinch the lip on top. Make sure there's wax on your thread. Plenty of grip. Point you can always check to see where you are. If you're happy with that, then we can then tidy up. Make sure it's secure, make sure there's wax on your thread. Now, in this area, I'm going to wind the hackle. So, I've got a hen hackle here. These are large hen hackles that are by a saddle. And again, I've dyed this, it's basically more a light sunburst. There's lots of hackles you could use, there's soft hackles that you can buy, really nice. You want a very mobile type fibre, so... What I'm going to do is just tie it in. I want it to come down to the longer fibres lengthwise. So, I'm just going to trim away, make sure there's something to tie in there. Again, wax on your thread. It's not a fussy fly, I've not been fussy with it. Just stroke back these fibres and then we just work our way down. Nice straight turns, just taking your time. I want some of the fluff, so just tie that in. Come up against the stem, just make sure you get a 90 degree bend into it. Just bringing through this fluff so that I can. If you put a 90 degree bend into the stem, it'll allow you to get the thread into the 
straight through and buy the, the fluff and tie it in much better. Trim that away. Give a wax on the thread again. Now what I'm going to do here is just get the hairdryer just to show you where we are at this point. So what I'm doing here is just blowing it. You can see the shape of the fly. I'm looking for that nice taper. The more taper you get, the more movement you'll have. Get that nice shape. That looks fine. When you finish off now, you could, normally you would just get a bit of flash first in it, sorry, a bit of mobile. This is mirror flash, hot orange. Only want a couple of strands. Which I'm going to put on top. Just the, the end of the orange. So I've got two strands here. Catch them on the top, a couple of turns. Fold it back, so we're doubling up on it, so it'll never pull out. Got a wax on my thread. Just check where these are. That's fine. Looks okay. So we sunburst goat. This is like a crest, as I call it. It's really good. It's a crest meaning a gold pheasant crest. It's that type of colour. This is what this I'm looking for here. Which sits on top. Depending how long you want it and how thick you want these fibres. It's looking fine. I feel it's no good tying these flies short because the reason being the style suits a long wing. And to get the movement out or to get the best of this style of fly is to have that. And what I'm going to do is just open out these fibres, set them on top, check the tape up. Fine. It's a pinching loop on top, two or three turns. And the trim. Not happy. Make this last a wee bit longer. You touch a super glue, just touch it there in the especially with goat. Goat's a very hard hair, it's a stiff hair. I mean it's, it's a stiff fibre, it's a strong fibre. Make sure that's secure. Now what I'm going to do here now is just add a tiny bit of the, the orange fox just so it brings it back to the orange rather more than the yellow but this blend works so I've got the arctic fox again you'll need a tiny drop don't need a lot again what I'm going to do is brush this and again taper this just taper it out I'm going to tie this wing forward and pull it back so there's the set of length I want, so you tie it forward, plenty of wax on your thread when you're doing this, so 1, 2, 3, 4, now this folds back, so it does, and then you blend it in, as you can see it works into the, the dressing. So I've got two jungle cock eyes on now. This basically what you're doing, you're tapered out and you're tapering back. By tapering back you're encouraging the teardrop shape. So I have two jungle cock eyes now. These are large. Tie them both in at the same time, it's up to yourself. I like a, a long jungle cock eye when these type of flies. So basically I'm off on one either side. Just hold them on the sides of the, the wing, two or three turns. Sure it's secure, just checking it. That looks fine. And then I'm going to fold them back. Just make sure there's a wee bit of wax on your thread. Folding them back obviously protects the, the jungle cock eye, it stops it getting pulled off. Basically got a break off. And then just going to trim the waist end of the jungle cock away. What I'm going to do is blow the hair dry through it just to show you again what it looks like. So if you look, there's your shape. Uh, the, the movement you're going to get in the fly. And then you can either you finish off there if you want to, but if you can put a bead on it, which I'm going to do. 
It has a red head fly. You see, this is a variant of the Tummel monkey. It's just a, a one that a good colour combination that works anywhere really. And then what I'm going to do is get some super glue. First, I'm going to try, try the try your bead first. See how it's going to sit. There we are. The bead gives it gives the fly the weight. You still have to get a balance in the fly. The length will balance out uh, the the weight of the fly. This will get down a, a decent bit. You can use obviously the line to suit. But anyway, we we'll glue this in now. It's quite simple to super glue all the way around. Onto the head. This will tidy up everything for you. Even if you just put a wee drop of super glue onto the tube and then it will push up onto it. Happy with that, we just then push the cone up. And this is a, a medium sized cone on this inch size tube. Just keep it nice and tight. All set. So we take it off and remove it from the needle. And then I'm going to use my large pair of scissors. Cut it round about at least 2 mil away. I'm just going to move this so you can see what I'm doing. Just cut it about 2 mil away from the bead. Hold it, point it straight up so you don't want to make sure the fluff's out of the way or the, the anything, feather fibre or anything out of the way or it'll burn. And then just melt it from the top down. Make sure you put plenty of, uh, make sure there's plenty of inner tube in there to melt up against the bead. Just get my knee needle again here. Well, it's still soft. I'm going to poke it through. Try that again. And there we are. And that's just a, as I say, a variant of the Tummel Shrimp. Or the Tummel Monkey, sorry. And that's the, your variant of the Tummel Monkey. And as I say, you can tie it to suit yourself. Whatever tube. It's a great colour combination. A lot of movement in the fly. Uh, as long as you get this teardrop shape, you'll get that movement, so you will. And... Uh, if you haven't got the sunburst colours, just stick to the, the normal yellow, which works. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. This is a lovely trip. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, it is free. And thank you for watching.